What's up guys and welcome to Brick Investments episode three. Guys, third video in the series. We're doing good. We're keeping it up. Sorry the desk is a mess today. We've got the medieval village we're working on, or medieval blacksmith we're working on right now. A um, bunch of new Mandalorians I got in. So it's just kind of a mess right now with stuff, but that's not going to stop us from doing Brick Investments episode three. Today we're talking about helmets and how these are going to go up in value or decrease in the future as well as this new two-in-one set from Walmart. I picked up the other day for only 45 bucks. I got a few shorts on that on Instagram and Reels, or maybe I had that backwards. I think it's Reels on Instagram, Shorts on YouTube. Whatever, you get the idea. Go check them out. Stick around for the video. Thanks for coming today, guys. Let's hop right into it. So guys, a little disclaimer as always. Nothing I say today is official financial advice. It's just my opinions and stuff I'm going to do myself. Gotta take care of the guidelines with that. So guys, this is not official advice I'm giving you guys. I'm just talking about what I think is gonna happen. These are just my predictions, but don't take them. Take them with a grain of salt, if that. So guys, we're gonna start out today with this Hoth two-in-one combo battle set. It's a Walmart exclusive. And this is actually a great deal for this one, guys. You're gonna be able to pick this one up at Walmart right now for $45. If yours does not have it for $45, most Walmarts price match. So just try and like find it at another Walmart for $45 online even and then go price match it with them. You're getting two sets here. You're getting this battle pack for the snowtroopers that came out with that UCS ATAT and the ATST that came out along that same wave of sets too. This set retailed at $20, but it's been on sale for months now for only $15. And this one retailed, I think, at 50 55 but has been on sale from, like, 40 to 45 certain places. Neither of these I picked up yet was kind of just not too... I've never been too into Snowtroopers. They look great. I love them, but just not really something I was going to put all my money into. I'd rather spend it on clones or something like that. So I wasn't too, like, insane about it. But now that this has come out, I definitely was going to pick it up. Picked it up um, two days after I saw it was at my local Walmart, guys. Like I said, 45 bucks for this one for... PPB, that's a great deal. I mean, you're getting almost 700 pieces for $45. Um, for $45, it would have been a good deal to get this set, and then you're basically just getting this one for free on the side. So definitely a great deal with this one. You're going to get in this set. Chewbacca, uh, ATST driver, a Hoth Rebel Trooper, a Pro Droid, with I th a Pro Droid with I th which I think looks super good. I have the old... Let's take you guys up to look at it. I have the other Pro Droid right up here and i absolutely love this thing the plaque and everything it just looks super cool this is one of the only like display sets like this i have but definitely one of my favorites i love that set so to see it in a smaller scale on this set is awesome and then we've also got obviously those three snow troopers and one scout trooper there scout trooper looks really good guys great printing on those and the snow troopers look good themselves as well i like the gloves compared to these old guys i got one right here these old guys that had just the black gloves looks a lot better for sure so guys this is a great set not only for your personal collection but especially i think for brick investing um this one at 45 bucks if you can get it before it jumps back up to that 60 65 price walmart did have this at if you can get it at that 45 dollar range that's going to be a great pickup so yeah guys this is a great one to have because you're getting awesome minifigs in this this is the one with the Chewy that's got snow on him. It's the snow scattered throughout him. It's kind of hard to see on the box image, but a lot easier to see when you see him in person. That's exclusive to this set for sure. Not Chewy, but the Chewy with the snow on it itself. And that's a super cool one that I think some people are gonna want when you have those collectors that want like every variation of a fig. So that's another reason to pick up this set. You got that probe droid, like I said, and it's a great army builder for anyone who has even the normal ATAT -AT and not the UCS one, or the UCS one as well, this is a great pickup for them because this is just great for Hoth building. Hoth is some of the most popular mocks people like to make because it's honestly pretty simple and always looks super cool. And once we get, I, I have a feeling we're gonna get a snow speeder in the next couple years just because of all the Hoth stuff we've been getting recently. I'd be surprised if we didn't get a snow speeder. Sorry for the cars in the background. I live right next to a big busy street. But anyways, wouldn't be surprised if we get a snow speeder pretty soon. So this is going to be a great one for that as well. And guys, just like the figs, like I said, the builds are great. Um, something a little different, you know, and just a great price. You're definitely going to see a little return on this one, I would feel like. I'm going to try and pick a few more of these up if I can, because the two-in-ones tend to sell well as, 
also because they'll just go up in value just because they're a little more exclusive and harder to get because a lot of people if they have even one of these sets they're not going to want to buy the two-in-one just to get this two-in-one type of packaging but two-in-one boxes are always popular among collectors so definitely a good one to pick up for that reason let's hop into some helmets so guys the only helmets i actually have are the red five helmet and the scout trooper helmet both great ones i just realized as i was recording this though i think i put the stickers on this one wrong i'm almost positive i did because you can see there's stickers whoa that's bright right here that are all white and stickers right here that are gray i'm pretty sure it's supposed to be half of these over here half of these over here so mess that up anyways that's not the point of this video brick investing is helmets are kind of a 50 50 people either like them or they hate them uh we got a lot of helmets that have come out in recent years we've got the mandalorian helmet the rex helmet the cody helmet the Bausch Leia helmet, the Dark Trooper helmet, the Storm Trooper helmet, Vader helmet, Tithe Pilot helmet, um, and let's see, am I missing? Oh, Boba Fett, and we have the Boba Fett helmet. Guys, these are very hit or miss. Um, some are super popular, some don't seem to be. Like the Dark Trooper, that's a pretty random one to throw in there, and it's not been selling very well. That one's still on shelves a lot of places, even discounted. The Mando helmet was... As cool as Mando is, it's a pretty plain helmet, so that wasn't one that one wasn't selling too great either. But as we saw with the Thai pilot helmet and the Stormtrooper, those are two classics that people loved. The Stormtrooper helmet was already bumped up to about a hundred bucks for finding that one, and the Thai Interceptor helmet, guys, is bumped up even more. That one is like two hundred to two fifty. You're getting that thing uh, around that range. You're not getting that thing any cheaper, guys. Or pretty much anywhere else that's a pretty price that's a, definitely the priciest one to get we're starting to see boba fett pop up a bit too because he's a little more popular of a character and his helmet has got a lot of cool details on it like with the dent up in the top uh left and some other details he's getting pretty popular i think vader looks really good too um i actually think this last wave is gonna have the most growth out of any we've seen like these guys are cool, but I don't think they'll be the most popular. I like them personally, especially this red five one, I think has a lot of neat colors, definitely stands out, but I don't think they'll go up too much compared to these others. Like, I don't think we're gonna be seeing the red five do anything like the TIE Pilot helmet, but I could see that with maybe Bausch Leia's. I think that one is kind of slept on right now, guys. This one looks really cool and has a lot of detail to it. And it's just very, very distinct from anything else we're getting. Like most of these helmets you'll see are black and white and that's pretty much it. But definitely a big difference there with that one. Great like centerpiece to anyone's helmet collection. But I also think that Cody and Rex have some potential to go up just because of sequel or prequel fans. Yeah, prequel fans. So the Cody helmet, uh, I don't love the way it looks. It's good. I might pick one up if I see it on a discount, a little more than 56 bucks. I still think 56 guys is a little bit pushing it. You're seeing those at Walmart right now for that price. And I still think that's pushing it. I'd like to pay closer in the 40, $45 range for this. Maybe pick it up a little bit on Mercari or some Facebook mom's deal. But I think the Rex looks great. Um, the visor's a little iffy, but other than that, it looks really good. So I think the recent three have the most potential to keep growing. I think that Thai pilot, we're gonna see stagnant at about 300. Uh, you're not hasn't got a whole bunch of growth recently so I think it's gonna kind of stop at where it's been growing but still super good one to pick up and super valuable right now but we're kind of seeing these dwindle away and I don't know if we're gonna have how much much longer guys we're kind of seeing their spot get taken by other theme slots or other series like battle pack not series but like battle packs and other concepts are getting taken over their slots I don't think we have any scheduled to release at all for the first half of 2024 on uh, nothing rumored for the second half the summer wave or the fall wave in september and october so very likely that we will see these helmets start to depart us and that these are going to be the last of these so being a pretty short run and short-lived series i think we're going to see some value for that in certain ones i don't think the dark trooper will ever go up i don't think the mando trooper or mando helmet will ever get crazy expensive honestly the scout trooper probably will never be worth too much i like it a lot but it probably will never be worth terribly much but if I was to invest in these, I would definitely want to pick up that TIE Fighter helmet, the Stormtrooper, Vader, Boba, and definitely the new three. I think these new three are really good and going to be slept on. Um, so those are kind of just my thoughts on the helmets. Sad to see them go for sure because there's definitely a lot of other stuff they could have done. 
but I'm not quite sure they did them the best. And it's just a very niche thing that not everyone's interested. So it's kind of hard to sell that too. I mean, for the Dark Trooper, for example, you see that on shelves all the time. No one's touching it. Even honestly, Rex and Cody, that's why I say they're a little slept on. Those are sitting on the shelves pretty full right now. Like if you go to Walmart, Meyer, they're not being bought up. Like they might be missing one or two boxes every now and then, but they're not being bought up like other sets like the Battle Packs or your um, T6 shuttles or anything like that. So not as popular, but there's still some room for growth with certain ones and with time for sure. But guys, that is Brick Investments episode three. We talked about the Hoth combo pack as well as helmets. Thank you guys for stopping by today. As always, make sure you go follow the Instagram, whatnot, and subscribe to this YouTube right here. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about the helmets or the Hoth 2-in-1 combo pack. Until then, peace.